And, and it's really also interesting, especially when you talk about uh, the transgender performances, right. how open they were, and then even now when you have uh, a big Frida, Sissy Noby, and uh, additionally, um, uh, like Baca, and, yeah, right. uh, oh, I'm leaving out, Katie Red. Uh, you just also have to wonder if any of these things would have ever been able to happen in another city other than New Orleans. Because it's really, I always am amazed by some of the people uh, that are from here that have been openly gay or transgender and been accepted. I, I don't know how many people knew that RuPaul is from New Orleans, that Ellen DeGeneres is from New Orleans. Uh, a lot of folks that Pat maybe... Patsy Vidalia. Uh, yeah, would maybe have never been able, and been able to I don't know, Patsy. Uh, but tell me about them. <laughs> uh, maybe would never have been able to uh, achieve their status if they were from another city. Right. The only thing I know about there's something on your mind is that I don't know whether Bobby wrote that or Larry Donnell. There was a, a female impersonator here. Um, his name was Larry Donnell. You're talking about a beautiful human. He was beautiful, good looking, and smooth, suave. Very, very smooth. I think that uh, he wrote that. Bobby did it second. Bobby did uh, There's Something on Your Mind after Larry Donnell did it. Larry Donnell used to sing at the Dewdrop. He's Patsy Bedelia's cousin. We have another one here on some uh, transgender beings. Patsy Bedelia. Now, I don't know, I don't remember Patsy's real name, but Patsy lived up on um, Britannia Street near Napoleon Avenue, him and his mom. And uh, his mom was getting along in age when I came around the Dewdrop. But I met Larry Donnell because I did my first show with Larry Donnell. The first singing that I did on stage as a professional was with Larry. He took me with a group called Lil Millet. Um, I've forgotten the name of the group. Anyway, I sang my first songs with, with uh, Lil Millet and the Creoles, that's what it was. And um, Larry Donnell was the head of the show. He was the one who put the show together. We went through Texas and up in upper Louisiana, and then we came back home. And in about six, seven months, that's when I got my job with the, with the clowns. But now Patsy, Patsy was the MC to the Dewdrop, and Patsy used to dress out and sing. And let me see, what was that he used to sing? I'm going up on the mountain to face the rising sun. If I find anything good, I'm gonna bring my good man some. Cause I'm a hip shaking mama. And I love to judge a brown so slow. Well, he used to be yours, but he won't be yours anymore. Now this was Patsy's number. And he opened the dewdrop with that, all the shows. Patsy saying that, and that was how I knew Patsy. But he and Larry Donnell were cousins, and that's as much as I knew about their relationship. But they were very good, and they kept the dewdrop alive until Bobby came. <laughs>